Hello, this is Chad McCray. First off, I wanted to give a shout out to Polygon Blacksmith. Uh, I, I'm using their art from the Unity Asset Store. I downloaded it and imported it into our project. I've communicated to him in the past about using his art in my videos, which he's obliged. And so I wanted to say thank you. I'm giving full credit in the description, so please check that out. Second, this video is talking about implementation of some weapon classes. I've created an interface called iWeapon, so it can be any weapon will inherit from iWeapon. And while not a true interface, any classes that do inherit from it will have some properties that, that shared across all weapons. I went ahead and created a one-handed weapon child class of iWeapon, gave it its properties, and assigned that to the game object. Did split the sword from the character and also remove the shield from the character in Blender. I imported the sword back into Unity, clicked and dragged it back to the relative right hand of the character, uh, clicked and dragged the script onto that game object, filled out a few of its properties, and made it a prefab. I also added the tag player on our player object and I added a few new properties on our player character script and I also made the player character a prefab as well. Uh, what this will do is allow us to control the inventory of weapons the player may have, uh, instantiate them, hide them when they're not being used, and be available for us to work with it in the future uh, when we implement combat. That's the quick and dirty version of this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Eric for watching all my videos. He's given me some good feedback, and hopefully I'm listening. Hopefully I've implemented some of the things he's uh, recommended to me. So thank you for watching, Eric. I know you're out there.